we're going to end with a little story. And if you've heard this story before, then perhaps you'll take something new from it today. Earlier in our presentation, I talked about how you have to have unwavering faith and belief that this is the vehicle to help you and the people you serve achieve your own dreams and their own dreams, correct? So I'd like to share with you a story about a village of tiny frogs. Every year, this village has a challenge. At the end of the village is a very, very tall mountain. And the challenge is that the most daring of frogs, these tiny little frogs, the goal is to reach the top of the mountain. No one has ever done it before. But this year, just as tradition has it, five contestants volunteer. Now, it's a village of tiny frogs, but there are four frogs, and then at the very end of the starting line is this extraordinarily tiny, tiny little frog. And all the crowd is looking around going, what is the tiniest of tiny little frogs doing at the start line? That's crazy. He's going to die. Then none of them are going to make it. That tiny frog, he's in danger. So the race starts, and you hear it right away, screaming at all five frogs. You're not going to make it. It's too dangerous. Come back. Don't do it. You're crazy. You're going to get hurt. And they're chugging along, and sure enough, the first frog, he quits. He drops off. And the other four continue, and the screams get louder. Come back. You're not going to make it. You're crazy. Don't do it. It's not going to work. No one ever gets to the top of the mountain. Come back. And another frog quits. Another three frogs keep chugging along and chugging along and chugging along. And the voices get louder and louder and louder. Come back. You're not going to make it. No one ever makes it to the top. Are you guys stupid? Are you guys crazy? You're going to hurt yourself. Don't you care about what your family thinks? Come back. And the other two quit. And they join the crowd. But the tiniest of tiny little frogs, he keeps running. He keeps chugging along. And everyone in unison, come back, come back. Please come back. You're not going to make it. And they're tugging on his mom. Tell your son to come back. He's going to hurt himself. He's going to die. The clouds came over, and all of a sudden, no one could see the tiniest of tiny little frogs. He disappeared. Everyone thought he had fallen off to one of the sides. And everyone was extremely concerned. And then all of a sudden, the clouds began to part. The sun started to shine through. And there was this little speck at the top of the mountain, jumping up and down. Everyone was in shock. He'd made it. Stupefied, in fact, jaws to the floor. And as he comes down, they start cheering. We knew you could do it. You're amazing. It's incredible that you've done this. Way to go. <laughs> by now, the tiniest of tiny little frogs, he's exhausted. He, doesn't, he can't be interviewed by the frog journalist. <laughs> but the frog journalist grabs his mother and says, how did he do it? He's the tiniest of little frogs. How did he climb that mountain? And his mother said, my son is blind and my son is deaf. You must be blind and be willing to drown out all of the distractions all of the people in the audience that are yelling at you, all of the people that tell you you are crazy, all of the people that tell you you are stupid. You must be willing to move forward with unwavering faith that not only is this the vehicle for you to achieve everything that you deserve in your life, but that this is the company with which to achieve everything you deserve in your life. And any time, whatsoever, you hesitate for even a moment, 
just remember the story of your friend, the tiny little frog. Thank you guys so very much.